All right, time is running out to get your Mega Millions tickets with the jackpot now at $1.28 billion. Tonight's drawing is at 11 p.m. You can watch it right here on Local 4, but of course you need to buy your tickets by 1045 right. tonight. Our Hank Winchester has been talking with the folks who've been doing just that, buying tickets all day. Hank? Hey, Devin, I'm one of those people. I've been buying tickets all day long. We're here at the Kroger Novi. Now, why are we at this location? This is where that billion dollar ticket was sold last year. And in the state of Michigan, you're required to come forward, do that photo op, yada, yada, yada. But we never saw the winners from last year. Tonight, we know why. And we also know the new push in Lansing to help make sure you can remain anonymous if you, in fact, strike it rich. It happened at this Novi Kroger store a little more than a year ago. A Mega Millions ticket valued at more than $1 billion sold. And this guy showed up to collect the check, but he wasn't the winner. They actually called me. We talked about things on the phone and what I thought needed to be done. Kurt Panousis is an attorney and a CPA based in Florida, hired by the newly created Wolverine Lottery Club. He was appointed by the club to come up to Michigan and collect that prize because in the state of Michigan, you're required to come forward, make your identity known, but there are ways around it. If I get a blank canvas, I can do a lot of things with that for the benefit of the group or the individual. So it's for me, it's always better that they not sign the back of the ticket. Some states allow you to remain anonymous and others don't. In Michigan, they want to capture that prize winning moment. And it's exactly why State Representative Pat Outman has introduced legislation that would work to help keep you anonymous. You know, and I took a look at this bill and I said, this is common sense. This needs to pass here in the state of Michigan. The representative says in this age of social media, it's now more important than ever before that those who strike it rich can keep their identity to themselves. Given the digital age that we live in now, uh, it's so much easier for somebody to track you down after you've won a large sum of money through the lottery system or just the massive amount of scams that we have to, in today's digital, uh, digital age. Now that legislation is still making its way through Lansing being kicked around. Now let's get back to that lottery club. The way it works is if you win, you can establish a lottery club and then assign other members, people that didn't actually win, which is what the Wolverine Lottery Group here in Novi did when they hired on that attorney to come up, do the photo op and make himself the public face of that big grand prize. We're live here tonight in Novi where incredibly a lot of people are inside thinking that lightning is going to strike twice here. Uh, live in Novi, Hank Winchester, help me, Hank, back to you. All right, Hank, and you can get the numbers as soon as they're picked. Tonight here on Local 4, we'll carry the drawing live, and then we hope you'll stick around for Local 4 News at 11. In the